Good morning, child of God. Time for us to crack open the Holy Word of God, the sacred scriptures. Yeah, every day we bring you some Bible. Here on Seize the Day on the Catholic Channel. Also, put this up on my YouTube channel and share it on my Facebook page every day. So, if you have friends or family members who may not tune in to the radio program, send them over to the YouTube channel or the Facebook page. And also for my website, GusLloyd.com, I write a little 60-second reflection every day. Today, it's called His Words Live On. And it has to do with our gospel reading. So for our first reading, as we get near the end of the church year, we read some uh, apocalyptic kind of readings. Like last year, we were reading from Revelation. This year, we're reading from the book of Daniel. And our first reading today is from Daniel chapter 7, verses 2 through 14. In a vision, I, Daniel, saw during the night, The four winds of heaven stirred up the great sea, from which emerged four immense beasts, each different from the others. The first was like a lion, but with eagle's wings. While I watched, the wings were plucked. It was raised from the ground to stand on two feet like a man, and given a human mind. The second was like a bear. It was raised up on one side, and among the teeth in its mouth were three tusks. It was given the order, Up, devour much flesh. After this, I looked and saw another beast, like a leopard. On its back were four wings, like those of a bird, and it had four heads. To this beast, dominion was given. After this, in the visions of the night, I saw the fourth beast, different from all the others, terrifying, horrible, and of extraordinary strength. And it had great iron teeth, with which it devoured and crushed, and what was left it trampled with its feet." I was considering the ten horns it had, when suddenly another, a little horn, sprang out of their midst, and three of the previous horns were torn away to make room for it. This horn had eyes like a man, and a mouth that spoke arrogantly. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was snow bright, and the hair on his head was white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attending him. The court was convened, and the books were open. I watched, then from the first of the arrogant words which the horn spoke, until the beast was slain, and its body thrown into the fire to be burnt up. The other beasts, which also lost their dominion, were granted a prolongation of life for a time and a season. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, he received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and peoples of every language serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed." The Word of the Lord from Daniel chapter 7. It's our first reading in today's Mass. So, as I say, we see these apocalyptic kind of readings, these scary, terrible visions of things spiritual, right? But at the end, you remember that last Sunday we celebrated the Feast of Christ the King. And today we hear a phrase, this is actually the phrase to which Jesus most often referred to himself. One like a son of man coming, given dominion and glory and power. We know who that is. Today's responsorial from Daniel chapter 3, Give glory and eternal praise to him. Mountains and hills bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Everything growing from the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. You springs bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Seas and rivers bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. And the response again, give glory and eternal praise to him. It's from Daniel chapter 3 and today's responsorial. Now our gospel passage is from Luke 21 verses 29 through 33. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happen, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord from Luke chapter 21, our Gospel reading in today's Mass. The words of Jesus, they've been around for 2,000 years now, and I can assure you of this, they will be around 
until his return and on into eternity. So my question for you today is simply this. How familiar are you with the words of Jesus? Do you take them into your heart? Do you reflect on them? Do you pray on them? I hope so. We need to make sure that his words, while they will never pass away in kind of a big cosmic universal context, it needs to be the same in our hearts and in our lives. Amen. Let's start our day with a prayer. Father, we thank you for the words of the Lord Jesus. May we be familiarized with them more and more. Reflect on them. Pray on them and have them become part of who we are. For it is in his mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you get something out of these every day. And if so, please subscribe and share it with your friends and family. All right, so have a great weekend. Until next time, peace and good to you and yours.